Hi friends, Stacy Robertson here with this week's Tea of the Week and it is iced tea season and today I'm going to make for you our classic. This is our Tea Market Iced Tea Blend. I'm going to get it going and then I'm going to tell you all kinds of things about it. But one of the things that the way I've chosen to make it for you today is I'm making a small pitcher. Most people like to make a big pitcher of iced tea and the one thing that I want to share with you that's really important is you need to know how many ounces of water your pitcher holds. People ask me all the time, how many spoonfuls of tea do I use for a cup of tea or for a pitcher of tea? And the cup or pitcher are arbitrary. You know, we can be, it could be this big, it could be this big. And so what you really want to know is how many ounces of water it holds. So what I encourage people to do, go grab your favorite measuring cup and fill it with water and actually find out exactly how many ounces of water your favorite pitcher holds. I've already done that before you got here and I know that this holds three cups of water. And so what I'm going to use today, this is a tea set and I don't really talk about these a whole lot. These are great and they are particularly wonderful for making iced tea or if you're making a pot of tea. And they really allow you to make tea in absolutely anything that will hold water. So basically it's a great big old empty tea bag, if you will. And we're going to spoon our tea right inside here and that's what I'm going to use to make tea today. So these come in a box of 100 um, for $11.25 and you don't have to just use them for tea. You know, I always, there's a, gosh, there's a uh, Food Network chef that always says, nobody has time for time. Have you ever tried stripping thyme leaves off of a little twig of thyme? Uh, but they're great for like bouquet garni. You can just stuff your herbs right inside here, try a string around the top and use it in your soups and sauces. So since I know that this holds three cups of water, I'm going to use three measuring spoonfuls of our tea. And this is Tea Market Iced Tea Blend. Here's a little backstory on this. I actually came up with this tea blend. First of all, I made it for myself and I thought it was absolutely delicious. And then I kind of tweaked it and worked on it a little bit to get my mom off of Louisiana tea. Now that was probably 18 years ago. So I guess, golly mom, you know, I own a tea shop. You're not going to drink Louisiana tea. So anyway, this tea is so delicious that it worked on her and thousands and thousands and thousands of other people since. And so well, the nice thing about this is you could put it right inside your pitcher. Um, if your pitcher is really, really large, you can just kind of stick it to the outside or you can do like Sir Thomas Lipton did, roll this down, take your stapler and absolutely staple it. You know, there's no reason why you couldn't do that. So. Tea Market Ice Tea Blend is black tea, so therefore we are going to use 195 degree water, and I'm gonna do what I call steeping a concentrate. I'm just gonna put half the amount of water, I've got all of the tea inside the tea bag for the full three cup volume of this pitcher, but I'm just using a small amount of water because I want tea now. Okay, I'm thirsty now. I want some iced tea as soon as this is ready. And we let it steep for four minutes and we're doing what we call steep a concentrate. Now, if you wanted tea later, instead of using hot water, you would still put three spoonfuls of tea right inside this tea sack. And then you would just add three cups of cold water to this. You could let it sit on the counter for about, oh, probably four hours or tuck it in the refrigerator overnight. And in the morning you can remove the bag and you'll have a crystal clear, robust, flavorful pitcher of iced tea ready to go. Now, don't get too carried away making those pitchers of iced tea. You don't want to make more than you're going to consume in about 24 or at the very latest 48 hours. Have you ever been to a restaurant and you think, boy, this iced tea tastes funny. That's because it's old. And so um, it will go kind of off and have sort of a weird taste. So you like iced tea fresh, think about how much you really need for what's going on and make the right amount. And don't think that you're gonna drink it all week because it, it won't taste good after, I would say day three is it's time to, uh, to move on, okay? And so you can cold brew, you can do it exactly this way. Now let me tell you what is in Tea Market Iced Tea Blend. Um, this is, there are three different black teas in here that I think together make the most brisk, crisp, robust, flavorful, smooth, 
classic straight black iced tea. So this has our Irish breakfast, which is an all Assam tea, and that's for that strength and intensity of flavor. And then it also has kenilworth, which is a Sri Lankan tea, uh, a Ceylon tea from uh, Sri Lanka. Ceylon is the old world name for Sri Lanka, and they still call the tea that comes from there Ceylon tea. And Ceylon tea is known for that brisk aspect of it. And so it gives it that part. And then the third tea that's in it is Nilbari. Nilbari is also a tea from India, but it's a little um, further south uh, from the region where the Assam tea comes from. And it is really nice and smooth. It has a depth of flavor that gives the tea blend a wonderful base note and then kind of a smoothness without any harshness. So it takes a little bit of that edge off of the Irish breakfast or the all Assam tea. And I think, I hope you give it a try and challenge your favorite iced tea that you have against our Tea Market iced tea blend and let us know what you think. Uh, we really, people buy this by the pound um, all the time. It really is an absolute classic and delicious. You get that beautiful bright red color, which is exactly what you want in a wonderful iced tea. And the way that I'm going to do this is when our tea has finished steeping, which we still have a little while, um, I'm going to ice it down and I'll show you some, some, some ways to do that and a little pro tip about how if you're pouring hot tea straight over ice, how you do that without getting it to cloud. So um, we'll do that. And then the iced tea blend, it is in our iced tea sampler, as you might imagine along with Bora Bora Sangria Tropical Green and Creamsicle, and it's also in our summer sampler. We go through so much of this Tea Market iced tea blend every summer because it really is a classic and people just absolutely love it. Um, so the summer sampler is Sunshine, Double Mint, Palm Mint, Creamsicle, and iced tea blend. So if you're wanting to try iced tea blend along with some other teas, you might really, really enjoy one of our samplers. Okay, so I am going to we're going to remove the tea pocket so our tea is steeped for the length of time that we like it. People ask me all the time, can you reuse these? And I'm not sure what they mean. So uh, my life is too short to clean this out and do something else with it. Uh, these are compostable, so you can throw them in the compost uh, or however you'd like to get rid of things like that. Set it aside and it's all good. And now, if you are going to, if I were going to pour hot tea that I had just steeped over ice. And if you've ever ordered a black tea drink at Tea Bar, you will watch us do this as we make a drink. What you want to do is buffer that by bringing the water temperature over. When we make a drink at Tea Bar, what you'll see us do is put ice in the bottom of the glass, pour a little cold water over that to buffer the ice, and then put the tea on. All right. Then we just add our ice to it and we get it nice and chilled down. A little sucker lily, somebody always gets away from me. Okay. It'll be nice and chilled down, and because we use the correct amount of tea, we'll get it right to the right concentration, so we'll have a perfect flavor profile. A lot of times people will make a pot of hot tea, pour it over ice in a glass, and it's just diluted and doesn't taste like what you want. So this way we get a really, really flavorful cup of ice tea. Now, because we've buffered that, we don't have any cloudiness at all. It is beautiful and crystal clear. It's really making me thirsty, so I'm gonna try some right now. I really, really love this. This is the iced tea that I drink uh, when I'm at home and making tea for my family, friends when they come over. I absolutely love it. If you're in the mood for the classic, you know, we get all that fun flavorful stuff. But when you're in the mood for the classic, this is it. All right, black teas are wonderful for cardiovascular health. They've got full caffeine, so they give you a, a nice little boost of energy, which is perfect in the late afternoon. Doesn't that look refreshing and amazing? It's absolutely perfect. It's the classic. I hope you sure give our, our uh, Tea Market iced tea blend a try, and I hope you enjoy it. Let us know if you do. If you want to try it, come on in. It'll be our tea of the week. You can come into Tea Market and get a glass that's totally prepared and ready to go for just $3, or this week only, it's 10% off on the website. I hope you give it a try. We look forward to seeing you soon, and I'll be back next week with our next Tea of the Week.